last week we talked about muting and using the muting function inside the PNAS multi configurator tool to do muting locally in the controller rather than actually at the light curtain. So this week we're going to talk about linking PNAS multi projects together. So it is possible to have three or four different PNAS multi projects in three or four different control panels and safely link these projects back together. So we can use the PILS safety net P protocol to safely link this project to project two to project three. I can send 32 safe inputs and outputs safely between each project. So I can have an, an e-stop, we'll say in this base unit project one, and this e-stop can turn off a safety function here in project two, whether it's a, an output or whatever. Um, so I can use the multi-link expansion module to do this. So I can have four multi-link expansion modules on the, on the left-hand side of a base unit. So I can have four here on the left-hand side of this base unit. And I can I can send and receive signals from, from four different projects in as a result. So I'm just gonna show you kind of an easy way to set that up in the configuration of the project that we already have. So we're gonna to have to add a, another module. So we're gonna add this multi-link module. So I spoke earlier, but we can only put a maximum of four. So if I drag and drop four into the one project, I have four now. And if I try to add a fifth, you can see I've reached the maximum capacity for the left-hand side with, P with the multi-link modules. So I'm only looking for one. So I'm just going to delete those other three. So I now added a multi-link module and I've also renamed it multi-link. So if I go back to the user program and just, I'm gonna add a new page and in this page will just be solely for the multi-link module. So I can actually, there's a few things I can do with the, the multi-link. So we'll say I have just one other PNAS multi-project in this. I can use this link module status. So what this is, that tells me that the, the link module of the project that I'm communicating to is either healthy or if it's after, if there's a, a power outage. So it gives me a few options. Is the cable connection, that's the safety net P cable is that less than 100 meters or more than 100 meters there is a restriction of a thousand meters on it but just to say for this project it's less than a thousand meters i call that multi-link so that now is the status whether it's healthy or not that's not the the inputs and the outputs, it's more if the module is actually healthy, if they, just to see if there's a power outage. So I could use, um, we'll say if I could put that back to my HMI, and I'll say virtual, and I'll say output five. So I now know that I'm sending a healthy signal to my HMI to say that this is, that the project 100, less than 100 meters in another control panel is either healthy or not. So if that and the HMI was to go down, I know that this project uh, is in an unhealthy state. I can then use it to send or receive safe inputs. So I'm gonna say multi-link project, and I'm gonna say I have a, uh, an option of I0 to I31. So I have 32 inputs that I can receive, say input one, I'll say this is an e-stop coming from my other project, and I can use this to turn on and off a semiconductor, a safe semiconductor output. Now I couldn't do this if I was using a HMI, but I can if I'm using a multi-link project via the safety net P. So that's an e-stop. I can also say that, or oh, I can also send an output. So I can say that my connection block that I create in other projects will say my e-stop one that I would have cr created on this page. So this is my e-stop, e-stop one. So if I use a connection block again, that's e-stop one. And I will say that I want to shut off a uh, multi-link and I'll say output zero zero. That's going to the other project. And I'm going to use the e-stop that's locally in this project to safely turn off uh, an existing output on the other project. So that just kind of goes to show the, the simplicity of using the multi-link in other projects. You can use this up to four, up to four multi-links per base unit. And it is a very easy way to link projects together. Um, it's something that we find very easy to use and very popular with customers. 
So that's all we're going to do just for today. It's a very simple multi-link video. Um, if you have any questions on it, uh, I know I ran it through a bit quick, but if you have any questions on it, just drop them in the comments below. Or if you have any category that you want us to cover in these videos where it's a different application, you can also just drop them in the comments below.